microeconomics, or should I say, microeconomics. In the echo of the classroom, where knowledge asserts itself, my enemy, microeconomics, was out of the shelf. Curves and graphs, like mysterious symbols on the board, a subject that completely left me puzzled and bored. The man and supply, a dance I was unable to keep up, like solving a challenging enigma, a mystery so hard to pick up, elasticity, market structures, and demand curves. I was buried in size in the land of my confused nerves, the unreal puppeteer, the unseen hand, directing markets and markets with a determined command, an overabundance of terminology, marginal this and marginal that, my bewilderment amid the maze of microfact. I brimmed with hate, boiling contempt, charts and data, a mental contest. The graphs seem like laughing, the curve seem like mocking me, microeconomics, a concept that I feel like it must be left unseen. Microeconomics, or should I say, micro-enemy, a subject that left me restlessly terms and contents too difficult to define but this fleeting feeling change through time as lectures went on a hidden truth unraveled Patterns developed, confusions can no way travel. Microeconomics, a riddle, something tricky to figure out. This was my journey towards understanding and having no room for doubt. I now get how the rhythms, the rhythms of the man and supply dance, an elaborative movement that one cannot master at first glance. Microeconomics was really easy. Just give the subject a chance. On the verge of futility and the trade coordination, hatred and love reside in an unequaled relation. Thus, in the field of learning, where hatred found inspiration, my perspective was renewed and microeconomics was understood, completed a transformation from hate to fondness. A situation that's worth remembering and cherish. Microeconomics, or should I say, my now newest body, this was my hate to love journey.